What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiser Reich mod. We are playing as Austrian Empire. Last episode, we were working on trying an invasion plan up here in Commonwealth of Canada, but the Americans, it looks like, are going to beat us to it. And so, unfortunately, potential increase in stability. Okay. Uh, we've got a civil war going on in Brazil here right off the bat. Nope, I'm going to continue occupying Slovakia. And then for some reason, Black Monday hits us back again. This is uh, post-Death or Dishonor release. Um, so the devs have updated sort of their, um, their mod stuff here to be compatible, which is great. Uh, we do need to move in for a convoy escort here. Here, uh, So I'm going to let you guys in on my new plan here. So... We're going to launch a naval invasion moving from Africa over here to finish up the Caribbean Federation, which will then give us access to potentially going to war with Netherlands, for example. British are back in the Cape. Dom Dominius win in South Africa, okay. Uh, assassination of President Kerensky. Oh, wow. In Russia there, that popping off. But uh, like I was saying, we're going to invade up here against the Caribbean Federation, take them out because we're currently still at war with them. Canada looking at 48% towards capitulation right now. We can also eventually work on Australia there to finish up the rest of those countries. So let's um, plan it out. So I've got my force down here. Let's move everyone to the port here. Okay, looks like they're already there, so that's good news. Uh, let's bring them down to Africa here. So we'll ship them down. And uh, that's 62 units overall. We don't even need that much, to be honest. If we take a look here, or not meant to do the, uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So I've got this fleet out here. He has six battleships, 11 heavies, 17 lights, and 31 destroyers. That should be plenty to guard in the water over here. Uh, Caribbean Federation doesn't have anything besides convoys, I don't think, at this point. So are these guys still moving down? Yes, they are. Okay, good. So the Americans uh, declared on Canada there. And they, they're continuing to move in. Although Canada does hold uh, some parts of Rhode Island right now and Massachusetts. That's pretty weird. Uh, upstate New York as well. So they're going to move in. By the time it would take us to build ports and such down there, I think we'd be sort of done with, done for here. Uh, let's detach these guys, for example, these Marines. So they're going to move down to the port for us there. Coming across this sea zone now, which is technically unguarded, but we're going to get back to nice protection here uh, once we hit the Iberian coast. Which will be good. We can take the rest of our divisions and take them back home, for example. We, um, we're we pretty much out of options here in mainland Europe unless we want to go to war with Germany. Uh, which we're going to need a lot more manpower to do that, right? So we could tr try to recharge our manpower here eventually. I'm actually going to cancel uh, the production of these marine units. Because we were doing that in um, preparation to go in against the Canadians there, full force. You can see my overall casualties, 1.5 million so far uh, in the war. We've managed to remain independent. We do still have Illyria there in our um, as our puppet. Okay. Interesting stuff. Uh, Syndicalist Colombia has capitulated now. So we, we do have some action here in South America that we could potentially look at um, getting involved in. You've got the, the uh, Buenos Aires axis here between Brazil, La Plata, and some of the southern countries. Yeah, Brazil is actually independent here on its own now. Not part of a faction. We unfortunately have the modifier here with the mod that does not allow us to create or join other factions, unfortunately. And uh, Black Monday is still hitting us here, which is unfortunate. It does hamper my 
production a little bit, but uh, we are making these modern tanks to deliver to those those tank units. So they're going to be needed up at the front here. We just switched all of our tank templates over to modern tank, right? So I've got two lines, full lines of those open. We're making about three, uh, five and a half of those per day now. And uh, those are going into the front lines immediately. Here come my divisions. All right. Come on in, boys. How are we looking in terms of infrastructure and such out here? Pretty good. Uh, I think we can handle this size of a invasion force. Um, I'm actually going to take... We'll see what the terrain is like down here. Uh, jungle, for the most part. We're going to use our Marines to come in here. They have how many divisions? Only two divisions. So really, I can take my Marines here. Unassign all of you. We will take um, the rest of Teal Group here up to mainland Austria and uh, have them sort of guard the German border for now. <clears throat> okay, so they should all move then on their own. Yeah, looks like they're going to get back on the boats. Meanwhile, we can actually beef up our marine units here a little bit by going and bringing these extra three divisions down like this. This is going to be my invasion force. So six divisions here give you a new general. Uh, let's give you this guy. And let's call you... I uh, don't have a blue group yet, so you guys will be dark blue group. Uh, six of you will start the invasion order moving from here. Uh, where do we want to do it? Up here. The capital of Georgetown there. And what we can do is move uh, Teal Group back down here towards the south, eventually, if needed, um, as we look to... Oh, I'm actually seeing resistance here in... Uh, back up here now. Let's move this guy in like this. Um, we have... Who else could we help, use to help here? We've got one division here that can move into Livorno. This guy is moving here, leaving this territory over here with a resistance. Move this cat uh, infantry unit back up there. All other units moving up back up here towards the north. Hmm, Ukraine having that civil war still going right now. Interesting. All right, blue group. You're about halfway done with your naval invasion order. I've got the... Yep, I've got the sea zones there taken care of. So good stuff. We're going to remove the uh, non-aggression pact requests. No thank you. Russian Republic declared on Yugoslavia now. So Russia having a lot of um, divisive events happening here now. We've also got Japan over here in their own little um, faction, which includes Korea, Taiwan, portions of Philippines. So uh, is Japan at war with the Germans? Wow, they're at war with a lot. Yes, they are. So the Germans are already working down here on their faction. So is the Australians, right? Yes. I want to be able to make it down to Australia before they can somehow hmm Samoa is actually independent is that true yep hmm Ukraine took two states so it looks like their civil war just finished there hmm how can I get down here maybe this way Coming in from Suez. That's how it's going to have to work, I think. That's a lot of territories to cover there. But I do have new forces coming out. I do have new naval stuff coming out here. Yep, you can see this. So we're going to combine all of these guys in to a new fleet. He's got one battleship, three heavies, 
four lights and 20 destroyers. Yeah, so we have prioritized that uh, that naval production now. Yeah, uh, you can see. So that's going to be the start of my new fleet there to uh, guard the safe passage into Australia. No enemy ships out here, so it should be pretty easy. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and take this first fleet group here and tell them to go ahead. Give you a admiral here. You guys are going to work on convoy escort heading from Red Sea. Oh, you can't move from here? Why not? Our bases are too far away, potentially. I need to build a port on this side. That's what we need to do to give us access out here. Build a big port out here. And then we'll start basing uh, future fleets out in that area to allow a home base sort of situation here. We can also look at invading potential like Indian states and such, like these southern Indian areas. Um, these guys not part of a faction either, so we could look at doing that. How many... Um, Okay, we've got up to 12 divisions over here in Australia to deal with. All right, how are we looking over here now? Let's go ahead and add in these nine divisions and tell them to go ahead. So nine divisions off on the boats now, 90,000 men or so are my uh, templates looking good. Looks like it. Okay, so they're going to head on over. Do it, boys, do it. Off on the boats now. New research. Uh, yeah, we're sort of out of research uh, projects right now. We've got 21 nukes in the bank that we could put to use here in South America or on our future sort of conquests. Greenland getting those extra port levels there. Medina here, August 25th. So in a couple months or so, non-aggression from King there. No thanks, King Empire. And I think all of these African states, for the most part, yes, belonging to the Germans. If I go to my Manage Occupied Territories here, I'm on Gentilist. I should be on Gentilist across the board. Canada. Uh... Occupation policy, gentlest there. Okay. I don't think I really occupy any German territories, though, which is weird. You know, we shouldn't... Here's my forces spread across the line here now. How's the uh, fulfillment of modern tanks going? Good, we're actually starting to stockpile those now. All right, let's see how this invasion goes down here now. Come on, boys. Submarine Offensive, now finished. Was that the last one? Yeah. Okay, that was the last naval doctrine we could get there. I've got all other naval stuff good to go. Yep, we're good to go on land doctrines and artilleries. Good to go on tanks and support units. Let's go ahead and move up to some mechanized here. Okay, we're showing us a green 94 here with the invasion. Popping off. Let's get in there, boys. Let's do it. Keep getting these non-aggression packed invitations. 250k now in uh, overall manpower, which is good. So that is increasing. Excellent. We've made landfall here. So my these nine uh, marine units here, let's... Uh, well, we could actually probably micro you. I'll send one here. We've got some Spanish divisions here as well. We'll send in the rest of the divisions on this attack to try to keep them busy. We'll have to do another naval invasion order coming over here. Just to cap them out completely now. Caribbean Federation 85% towards capitulation. Let's uh, also swing around here with this guy to come in like this. This could trap him, but 
See, there's enemy forces that are retreating out of that area. So we should be able to mop this up, overrun them, come back through and attack them from the other side here, which actually looks like this attack is going to be finished up here immediately. So trapping them in. Nice. 